Apple just made iOS 10 public for everyone, meaning the current iPhone 6S you're probably using can already do a lot of what the 7 will offer, with the added benefit of a headphone jack. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's run down the hottest reasons why you should hit the software update button. iOS 10 is one of Apple's most complete software updates in years. We have a separate hands-on video where we go into detail on its features, with some of these being great and others not so much. Here's a quick rundown of what we've used the most after testing the beta for almost three months. The new lock screen is probably the most useful. You can now slide to the left to see your widgets and slide to the right to launch the camera. Apple has also addressed the huge complaint where Touch ID would be just too fast for you to see your notifications, as you can now simply raise the phone to view them. Speaking of notifications, these now take advantage of 3D Touch for quick interactions. Simply hard press to expand and respond to your messages while on the go. Now probably what I love the most is to be able to use 3D Touch to clear all notifications, which was another major complaint. And speaking of 3D Touch, Apple has finally made it useful. Press on an application icon and notice widgets populate with important data on the fly, without the need of having to launch the application. Third-party apps still have some catching up to do here, but this is one of those features that I've used the most, particularly for launching things like my reminders or my calendar. The new control center is now less convoluted than last year. With paints to control toggles on the phone, your music on whichever application you're using, and even HomeKit whenever you get IoT gadgets that are compatible. We'll look into HomeKit on a future video as there aren't many options available to showcase this at its full potential. And yes, since we're talking full potential, Siri is one of those services that now gets enhanced to connect with third-party apps. But sadly, that part isn't quite complete just yet. Apple used Lyft as an example on how it works on the Keynote, but that functionality isn't there yet. There's a list of applications supported in the App Store if you want to start giving it a try. And then there are some major overhauls in important applications like Photos, which now groups people, moments, and things in a very intuitive way. And that level of simplicity has also reached Apple Music, with a more basic approach to building an experience based on you. Even iMessage grew to look more like every other messaging platform in the market, now being able to convey a little of emotion, and with new sticker options that you can buy separately on the App Store, unless you go free with the Mario ones, for example. Now, I'm not gonna lie, what I'm excited for most is Apple's new Swift Playgrounds, which is available today for the iPad. If you've ever had the curiosity to learn how to code for iOS, it really doesn't hurt to try or to give this application to your kids. Again, there is more to iOS 10 than what's mentioned here, but these are the ones that have gotten us most excited during our testing period. Watch one separate video for a full list of all the updates, and please share your favorite ones in the comments down below. While you're at it, make sure you also follow us on social media and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also catch our videos on Vessel, vessel.com slash pocket now, and follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.